Hi, I'm Jade Alexis, and today I'll be talking to you about my experience with SoundCloud. This is actually not my first time using SoundCloud, but it's my first time making a premium account. When I first made an account, I thought that it was all together. I didn't know that I needed a premium account. Apparently, I just had a free one. And with that free, I just listened to music. I got links from a friend who has audio uh, files on there, so he sent me that, and I listened through there. But, um... For those that don't know, SoundCloud is basically an audio platform where you can distribute, listen, and follow other artists. They even have celebrities like Ariana Grande and Travis Scott on there. I would say that SoundCloud is a distribution platform. Um, you don't really create the file. You more so upload it and distribute it. You can uh, have it privately or um share with like friends or just the whole SoundCloud community. I don't see a reason to have it private because I'm like, I feel like you should be doing this to make a brand for yourself. I take it as also another Spotify. You With Spotify, you listen to music, whether they're celebrities or just amateurs, I would say. But the only thing I would say is that you can do it yourself. You can upload your own music or file or whatever. I actually now I have a premium account and I'm doing just the 30 day um, trial for it. I'm not so sure if I'll even keep the subscription because as of right now it's not something that's like 100% yes I need it I want it. I'm more so doing I plan to upload a few files not a lot like just to try it out. I haven't I was always a listener I never actually distributed my own files. I'm not an artist so I'm like just some little probably like little videos like this just the little audio just to see how it is I don't really see the difference besides the whole uploading and I didn't know that it was dip different subscriptions like I said I thought that it was just all free when apparently even to if you're uploading your own file it comes to be a $12 a year rather than $16 a month and if you just want to listen to music then it's $9 a month I believe and of course I just chose the $12 a year just the trial just for now but if I do like it I will continue but I'm, I think I might just stick to iMovie because that's what I use iMovie or my phone to record files previously um, I would say that SoundCloud would be good for your school files I wouldn't say it's 100% sure like if you were making a project I wouldn't say that would be the first choice. I would not. But it could also, I think the main thing it would do is build your brand, put your name out there. You can uh, gain fans through it. And you can, like I said, do little projects. Even If it's not for school, you can just do it. If you just want to have fun and make like a little short movie or your own little CD or whatever. But, um... I say when, when I say projects for school and stuff, I mean like sound effects, like background music, not really people singing all the time, but just like if you want like like a calming or like to fill up the mood for that scene for a project or so. And when I take it as that, like I have a Pandora account, so I take it as I have a station called Calm Calmness or something like that. And basically, I do it when I want to stay calm, and it's just sound effects. It's not actual singing. So I'm like, I think that would be a good thing too. Um, I think overall the main focus and the best thing about it would be that the distrib distribution of your file helps out with your brand and putting a name out for yourself. I think that's the best, the most beneficial thing about this platform. And if I could, I would say just to make the editing. You don't have editing. Well, you have editing for it, like if you want to change the title of the file or switch up files. And like if you want to embed code and a downloading link, stuff like that. But it's not actually like editing like you would do on iMovie where you can change up. Like you can cut off an audio and paste something into it, like something different. Where you can just, you just upload it. And then that's all, which I think is just... I think it should have more, that way it can separate itself from its competition like Spotify. Even though the whole upload is the difference, it should have more of it. And I think if it did, I probably would use it more. I'm not going, I'm not an artist like I said before, but I probably would use it. 
when it comes to like my school projects or just for fun like I said like how it can be beneficial for it too um besides that changing it I would also say the whole pricing when I saw it like I said it was $12 a year or $16 a month and I thought that was kind of odd you know that big difference just for doing a year towards a month I think it changed the whole pricing for that and I'll say change some benefits because from the free versus the ten dollars a month or nine dollars a month is not really that much. I mean, you're able to listen to celebrities and you have a better quality, but I'm like, that's it. So I'm you got all this other places, all these other apps and stuff you can listen to celebrities. You can even get their own CDs without doing this. And I think that if they want to actual gain people or well, more people to listen to music, I think they should give some more benefits to a certain account or a subscription but like I said I'm going to do this 30 day I hope to upload some more files to it before the 30 days is over and I'll see where it goes from there if I'll keep the account or if I'll just stick to iMovie as of right now I say I want to stick to iMovie but you never know where the world takes you so um I hope to upload another video of my status before the trial is over just to say where I'm at, if I want to keep it or not. But other than that, have a good day.